Firstly, thank you for, for giving us this opportunity to talk to you about Better Health at Work Partnership Project. Um, this has been running in Kirkley since September 2004, and I'm Margaret Durkin. I'm a Senior Manager in Environmental Services here, and up to July 2008, I was the Better Health at Work Manager. Um, I have my colleague with me, Stuart Horn. Hello. Stuart um, took over from me and he's the current Better Health at Work manager. Uh, I also have um, Anne Sykes, external relations manager from Job Centre Plus. Hello. Hello, Anne. Um, I say Mike's not able to have, to have stayed with us. Um, and Melissa Liebird, who's been our project officer since 2005. Hello. Hello, Melissa. So between us, we want to share with you um, our innovation and what we've achieved um, since 2004 and also what we have planned for the future. So if you can move on to, to the second slide. Yep. Okay. So we've, we've entered um, this award under the Achieving More Through Partnerships section, and I think it's important to outline exactly who our partners are. So the key partners include Kirklees Council and the Health and Safety Executive. Initially, this was people from the policy unit in London, um, but following conclusion of their evaluation work, we now work very closely with our re regional HSE office um, on delivery of work on the ground. Uh, our local Job Centre Plus and, and the Kirklees uh, Primary Care Trust have been instrumental in steering, encouraging, supporting and guiding the project to work. Uh, and we've all seen the benefic beneficial links that our joint actions can have, not only in the Kirklees area, but also helping our partners with their individual organisation targets. And along the way, we've had um, some short-term partners. For example, we had our local neighbourhood renewal team at one stage. They provided some initial funding. And more recently, um, we're working with government office as we're keen to stay at the cutting edge of any new developments in this line of work. Um, moving on to the next slide. Yes. Whoops, I've not moved on myself. <laughs> so a little bit of background to our project. Um, we learned that in the UK uh, every year there are around about 30 million working days lost due to work-related illness. And over 2 million people suffer from ill health, which they be believe is work-related. We did some work in Kirklees and, and, and translated that a, a cost to our local economy is somewhere um, up to £35 million each year. Um, and part of our initial work involved calculating exactly how many working days were lost in our area. And in 2005, this was, this was equated to approximately 2 million working days lost to ill health in Kirklees alone. And it's not just business and economic costs. There are also costs to the NHS in terms of GP visits. Uh, there was a suggestion that in the region, one in five GP visits were work-related in some way. And also, of course, there are costs to the Department of Work and Pensions in terms of benefits. At the time we embarked on the project, incapacity benefit claims were rising, and there was a government push to try to reduce new claims. Um, uh, additionally to that, the HSE had done some research which revealed that the majority of small and medium-sized employers had little or no access to occupational health support, uh, and they were keen to trial different methods of providing that, that type of support to small businesses. So the links between work and health were also emerging, and having worked closely with our PCT on a, an accident reduction project, and with some very forward-looking uh, leadership, it seemed a natural progression for us to join up um, with the PCT as well on this project. Next slide, please. Yep. Okay, our partner strengths. Sometimes persuading partners to come on board can be difficult, but in this particular instance, it was straightforward. Our health colleagues saw how this would tie into their agenda on pain and self-care, and Job Centre Plus saw how it would assist with targets to reduce incapacity benefit claims in that we wanted to keep people in work and prevent them going on to benefits in the first place. And I think this slide um, perhaps demonstrates this quite, quite, quite well. My own background in environmental health meant that I had links with workplaces and obviously an interest in health, and it's the same for our health HSE partners. 
The PCT are mainly con concerned about people and their health, and Job Centre Plus are concerned about people and work. So effectively, we joined all the partners up to bring people, health and work into one project. And the project's main aims remain um, to reduce the incidence of work-related ill health and help those who are injured or ill through work activities back into work as quickly as possible, and also to keep pe people working where they may have a long-term condition. We also um, support businesses to improve their health and safety standards um, in their own organisations by transferring knowledge and skills to their workforce, and we want to promote a healthy and productive workforce here in Kirklees. The next slide, please. Okay, there were um, a number of challenges in getting the project off the ground, not least of which was funding for something which was completely unique and innovative. Um, and initially, the support that we offered to businesses and workers followed various funding constraints. One of the big challenges, however, was to find ways of, to provide occupational health support to small and medium-sized businesses. Many of these did not miss what they'd never had, had and selling the health messages, especially occupational health messages, was and still is not easy. The benefits of what we're trying to do are not always easily seen and they're not quick fixes. We also wanted to be able to engage with people who were in the early stages of being off work sick or maybe about to go off work sick so that we could work with them quickly and try to get them back to work um, as soon as possible. Because we, we learned quite early that the longer you are off sick and off work, the harder it is to go back. We, did some, we had some very challenging negotiations with the Department of Work and Pensions in 2004-05, and we agreed some LPSA targets around reducing the number of successful new claims for incapacity benefit, as it was then. And this really cemented our partnership with Job Centre Plus. Our other major challenge was to reduce the number of working days lost, which fed both into our economic agenda, um, work with the PCT around reducing patient visits to GPs for sick notes, etc. Our work around incapacity benefits was particularly innovative in that whilst there was and is much going on to get people off benefits and into work, our main aim was prevention in the first place. And the analogy that we use for this is that whilst there are plenty of schemes trying to empty the bath, we're actually trying to turn the tap off. Our LPSA targets fed into our local area agreement, and this gave the delivery team some ambitious challenges, which took all of us out of our comfort zones. Three years on, we were, we were delighted to have achieved and exceeded our targets. Now that takes us to just about the time where I finished as the Better Health at Work manager. So now I'm handing over to Stuart, who's going to take you through the rest of the presentation. Thank you. So that's the challenge, and here are the solutions we came up with. Um, we knew that some similar occupational health initiatives have been tried in certain parts of the country, but they have, in the main, been voluntary sector or charitable organisations. Uh, the major innovation here is that this task has been embraced by a range of mainstream partners. This adds weight, authenticity and authority to the partnership. We also deliberately chose not to appoint a team of occupational health nurses. Uh, instead, we have a team with a range of skills. Um, equally important is the can-do attitude, and we've cultivated their open-minded approach and will to succeed. The team took a two-pronged approach, that is, to engage with individuals through GPs and to provide support to businesses and employees. Historically, GPs have proved difficult to engage with similar projects, but the involvement of the PCT gave this project legitimacy. We've helped businesses to make the link between work, safety and health and how that translates to improved outputs in the form of reduction of days lost to sickness, improved motivation and to become an employer of choice. Next slide. 